Uh, speaking of all around backs, we're heading to the Cowboys uh, and the Giants. We know Ezekiel Elliott is going to eat in this game against the Giants. It's just a matter of time. What are you looking for? I'm looking for at some point Jason Garrett's offense to look like an NFL offense. It has not looked like one so far. There's just no sugarcoating that the New York Giants look worse today than they did last year. Daniel Jones looks worse than he did now that Jason Garrett is his offensive coordinator. There has been no positive uh, takeaways at all. There's nothing to hang your hat on. Jason Garrett, Garrett has been bad for this team. I don't, I honestly don't know how long he can remain the offensive coordinator. He hasn't called plays since 2012. I don't know why that didn't jump out at me when I was researching that over the off season. Obviously that's bad. It's been eight years. So look, can he pull it together? Can he figure out a way to incorporate things? I know he lost Saquon Barkley, but the Panthers lost Christian McC free and stuff Mike Davis in and look exactly the same. There's no reason to think that the Giants couldn't do something similar. And I'm going to just watch to see, is there anything against this Dallas defense that has been porous and has given up a lot to a lot of teams? Can the Giants look like a functioning NFL offense? Um, and honestly, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to expect because Daniel Jones looks worse today than he did a year ago, and I don't get it. I got two things on here, and they both tie into each other. One, I believe that if there's any person in the world more petty than I am, it's Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones let Jason Garrett go finally, and I think if anyone wants to show Jason Garrett that we're a better team than we were with you, it's Jerry Jones. It's just in his nature. You know what I mean? And two, I think – much like I called uh, Nick Chubb a few weeks back for an overcorrection on the lack of use, and then he went off and went bananas. I think Ezekiel Elliott is going to get that same treatment this week. I think you're going to see a heavy, heavy dose of Ezekiel Elliott here. I think they're going to run him until he can't run no more. He's going to show off that nice little tat on his belly, right next to his belly ring, says, feed me. He's going to show everybody, he's like, ooh, look at me go. <laughs> You're going to see him get – I wouldn't be shocked if he runs for 175 yards and two touchdowns this week just because of that huge overcorrection. He had like 50 – I don't know. I think he barely had 50 yards last week rushing. I think a huge overcorrection is coming this week. Yeah, I, I like it. Um, and at some point, Dak cannot continue the pace that he's on in terms of pass attempts, right? I mean, like 39, 49, 57, 58 – last week like that cannot continue to be the case they've got to figure out how to get the ball into Ezekiel Elliott's hands like you said even if it's just a matter of like we got to get this guy working and continuing to be a central part of this offense he wasn't last week and you're right I can definitely see them going in deciding they're going to run this ball down the throat of the New York Giants and basically just say you know what Garrett up yours no, I didn't break up. My throat just got sore there. So my mic's still working. I just cracked my voice. 